to my channel. I hope you are doing amazing wherever you are in this world. So I know I said the next video would be my baby shower but I came across something a while ago and I didn't know how to work it and I really just didn't have the time at the time to work it out. So don't mind Henry. Henry is being a boy. <laughs> he decided he would stand up and drink his bottle instead of sitting down. I'm being very, very watchful of him right now. Um, so this product is called Potato Sprout. Farms. It's from Potato Sprouts Farms, um, or from Slide and Friends, something like that. And um, you have several meals that are perfect for your bot babies or any of your kids, really. Um, like if you have kids that are AFK, you can just. <laughs> I might just take him off the chair because he's just he's being silly okay so <coughs> now that he's off there and not scaring me <laughs> uh, yeah this is the chicken and vegetables um, plate and I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to do it so what you do is when you first um, get the plate you set your permissions to anyone and that's about it and then you just click and you select who you want to feed and it auto attaches a fork to them and like if you have experience enabled so what is my son doing okay he's just being weird <laughs> If you have experience enabled, um, then it will auto attach. But for me, I don't have experience enabled because it's not my land. So that makes it a little harder because for bot babies, you do need. You do need um, that experience enabled. Let me just. I'm just going to pick him up. Actually, no, he's too heavy. <laughs> I cannot at the moment. So I'll just hold his hand and we'll just put him. in the plate area while I do this. Come on. And as you can see, I've been shopping. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's what I wanted to show you guys because I've been looking everywhere for some food options instead of just baby food and like the normal My Story plates are um, too big and same with the forks. So yeah, I wanted to get him and Narissa some decent meals and 
I've seen their meals and they're pretty nutritious. Um, I've even tasted it. They don't taste like those usual uh, microwave meals that are like tasting like chemicals and cardboard or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, with the potato sprout farm products, they seem to do the trick so they have at the moment at the woodland event they have um popsicles but i think the woodland event is uh, ended finished <laughs> um and at the thimble event they have some soft serve ice cream cups basically for them so I have looked at their actual main store land um, main store but um, I couldn't find any more meals or anything like that I'm not sure if they're still like sitting up or they've just run out but I am really excited to see what else they come up with because let me just show you I've got a spaghetti one as well <coughs> uh, Where am I going? <laughs> uh, there it is. So you just pop it on there. Why? I. Yeah, I knew that. That. Why isn't it working? That should have worked. <laughs> okay. Come on. Uh. There we go. And then you just set it to anyone. And that's that. And then you can see just the details of the food is pretty good. And even the plates and that. I think the things are... I would say that's meatballs, but it doesn't look like meatballs. <laughs> but yeah, and then you just, like I said, click on who you want to serve it, and it's done. It has 10 servings each plate. You can also um, refill it any time. So all you do with the refill is, oh my god, what do I want to say? <laughs> um, be ready, and then you select, oops, that's not it, you click and hold down on the plate, that's like reload, and that sends the food into there, and you're done. And just delete. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the little tutorial that I gave you. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping to 
do more videos with Henry and the other kids. Um, Henry especially. <coughs> I say especially because sometimes he's just not accepted um, because he is a bot or he's my old. And, um, sad but true. <laughs> like, when was it? The other month? Last month, I think. Um, someone asked if, like, how many kids Leon had. And I said, well, there's Marissa, Henry, and Zachary. And, um, I said to him, yeah and he's like oh that doesn't count he's not around um he's not real basically and that just pissed <laughs> me off you know because whether they're your alt or whether they're your bot baby they are a part of your family and it doesn't sit well with me when you exclude my kids and um, like <laughs> from now on I'm not telling anyone um, who my kids are like who Henry is because I don't want him to be treated different you know um, Yeah, it's sad, but people are pathet pathetic like that, and unfortunately, it causes myself to have to lie, or, like, go around the truth because of these people. So, yeah. That... I, I don't know, like, I wonder if, um, other people have had this problem, um, because, you know, to me it's like, <laughs> for all we know, everyone in this town could be alts, and we don't know, everyone in this town could be bots, and we don't know, and yet, just because my son is created by me, he's being treated differently. To me, I rather have him as my alt or bot than to be ripped off by certain people that Not all people in the adoption agencies, but certain people do. And they just take advantage of you and then leave. But with Henry, you know, I've got him for life. And he's not growing up. <laughs> I don't want him to grow up. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Like with you would think people would just accept the decision and keep their opinions to themselves, but they don't. They make it pretty known that because they know this account is yourself, then they're going to ignore that particular account. <laughs> and it's heartbreaking. He's my baby. They're all my babies. And you develop an emotional connection 
to each and every character you create. But, like, you would think a proper role player would understand these. But, obviously, certain ones don't. And, um... Yeah, I just, I hope that by me involving Henry in the roleplay group chats that he'll be more accepted in the community because that's what I want. And, um, good news. Henry is going to pre-K with his sister, um, which is going to be interesting for me, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> learning ex experience, but yeah, back to ca in character, Henry's going to pre-K on Monday with Marissa and I'm hoping that this will help him with his speech and his all round learning because he's just struggling at the moment and with the baby on the way and with me working full time um, two jobs I can't teach him everything that I would like to teach him and he gets very distracted um, quite easily when I do try and teach him so hopefully the school will be able to help him in areas that I can't and um, I will be putting the landmark for Potato Sprout Farm. Maybe you guys can contact the owner of the product to see if she's got any more product because honestly I don't know where to find any of them. I've looked on Marketplace, couldn't find any. So I will do that and also the landmark for the symbol event but I have to go to the bathroom you know pregnancy baby pushing my bladder all that fun stuff <laughs> so until next time beauties don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and please just let me know like if you've experienced this sort of I'd say discrimination with your bot babies and your roles <coughs> and what did you do about it to fix that um, yeah until next time bye beauties